Hi, I'm Jason Claro. I'm an electronics engineering student at the Universidad de Manila. Welcome to Transmission Media and Antenna Systems. In this lesson, we talk about torsal antenna. First of all, let's go to the introduction. Who is invented torsal antenna? The first torsal antenna array constructed in year 1936 on the roof of the Stadler Hotel, Buffalo, New York for experimental. Ultra short wave AM station W8XH was broadcast on 41 megahertz for a few years. The torsal antenna was invented by engineer George Brown at RCA in year 1935. The image you see in this presentation is George H. Brown. Who is George H. Brown? George H. Brown is one of the world's leading experts on antennas and a near 40-year veteran of the Radio Corporation of America, RCA. George H. Brown died on December 11, 1987 at his home in Presenton, New Jersey. After a brilliant career in electrical engineering research and engineering management, George Brown retired from RCA in year 1972. He is best known technically for his pioneering developments in directional antennas and for his invention of the turnstile antenna that has been used extensively for television broadcasting at very high frequencies, or BHF, throughout the world. He is also well known as a participant in the team of RCA laboratories that developed the dot sequential color television systems and as the team leader who relentlessly pursued its adoption as the U.S. standard for broadcasting. What is torsal antenna? A torsal antenna is a set of two dipole antennas aligned at right angles to each other and feed 90 degrees out of pace. It has been developed primarily for omnidirectional BHF communications. An antenna composed of two dipole antennas perpendicular to each other with their axes intersecting at their midpoints. Usually, the currents on the two dipole antennas are equal and in phase quadrature. Antenna gain. The gain of a antenna is actually about 3 dB less than that of a single dipole in its direction of maximum radiation. Because each of the elements of the torsal receives only one half the transmitter power. Torsal antennas are often used for FN broadcast reception, where they give reasonable performance in all directions without the need for a rotor. Torsal antennas have an omnidirectional radiation pattern with horizontal polarization. They usually operate a BHF and USF frequencies from 30 MHz to 3 GHz. They are most often used for FM and TV broadcasting, military, general satellite communication applications. The image you see in this presentation is the torsal antenna. So let's get back to the topic. So what is a torsal antenna? In other words, the torsal antenna can be said to be one of the most the best antenna in the world because it consists of an inherent frequency of 30 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. Because of this signal, Many of the people were satisfied because the flow of communication in all countries had been successful, and many were really satisfied because the signal that this result 
showed was not chaotic or vague in the eyes of the people. In other words, the signal was not garbled. And this antenna really hits because it says it is often used in FM and TV broadcasting, military and general satellite communication applications. In other words, all of this is optimized due to the turnstile antenna. Construction and operation of the turnstile antenna. Two identical halfway dipoles are placed at right angles to each other and are paid in pace. These dipoles are excited 90 degrees out of pace with respect to each other. The turnstile network can also be referred to as a cross dipole network or cross dipole array. So for what the construction and operation of the turnstile antenna? In other words, it operates two identical halfway dipoles. In radio and telecommunications, a dipole or doublet is the simplest and most widely used class of antenna. Halfway dipole, this is the most widely used antenna because of its advantages. Quadrature feed. A popular method of feeding the two dipoles in a torsal antenna is to split the RF signal from the transmission line into two equal signals with a two-way splitter. Then delay one by 90 degrees additional electrical length. Each space is applied to one of the dipoles. In this presentation, these antennas are fed with an in-phase quadrature signal. The signal to each dipole is positive over negative 90 degrees out of phase with each other. Two identical halfway dipoles are placed at right angles to each other. The two dipoles are energized with currents of equal magnitude but in phase quadrature. To provide high directivity, several turnstile may be stuck along a vertical axis. The polarization of this antenna depends upon the mood of operation. The pair such of dipole frequently stuck is known as they. Most of all, in the field of communication systems, whenever the need for wireless communication arises, there occurs the necessity of an antenna. Antenna has the capability of sending or receiving the electromagnetic waves for the sake of communication, where you cannot expect to lay down a wiring system. The following scenario explains this. Modes of operation. Tercel antennas have two modes of operation. Number one, normal mode. In this mode of operation, the antenna radiates horizontally polarized waves which are perpendicular to its axis. Number two, action mode. In this mode of operation, the antenna radiates circularly polarized waves along its axis, i.e. parallel to the Earth's surface. The image above illustrates tensile antennas to provide high directivity. Multiple tensiles can be stuck along a vertical axis and are staggered. As shown in this figure above, the popularization of these tensile antennas depends on their mood of operation. Now, if you observe tensile antenna, its function is normal mood and action mood. We talk about normal mode operation. In normal mode, you see two images of the tensile antenna. The green line I'm showing here is the vertical axis. That is represented by the axis of the tensile antenna, same in the action mode. In normal mode of tensile antenna, the red line you see represents radiation, 
with horizontal polarization of dorsal antenna. Now, we talk about action mode operation. In action mode of dorsal antenna, the yellow line you see represents radiation with circular polarization. In this presentation, what you are reading is advantages of dorsal antenna. Now, we talk about advantages of dorsal antenna. High gain is achieved by stacking. Prove here, the high gain is to achieve with good arrangement. In other words, the signal flow of the dorsal antenna is in good situation. So for a dorsal antenna, produces high gain output. Here many countries are interested because of the very good quality of this item because the output provided by the service is very high. It is used in BHF, very high frequency, and USF, ultra high frequency. And then it is used in television broadcasting antennas. Better directivity is achieved. Here in turn proved and made everyone understand the benefits of the turnstile antenna. Its signal flow has been achieved and maximized. Now we talk about disadvantages of turnstile antenna. The radiation power is 3 decibel below the maximum radiation of a half wave dipole radiating the same power. In other words, the power of the frequencies of the torsal antenna competes between the radiation power of the frequency 3 decibel to the radiation of a half wave dipole. Now, we go to the image you see in this presentation. The image is the torsal antenna outline. The dipole 1 and dipole 2 here represent the normal mode and actual mode operation of the turnstile antenna. In other words, the dipole 1 and dipole 2 represent an irradiation with horizontal polarization and represent in radiation with circular polarization of the turnstile antenna. The 90 degree facing line represents dipole 1 and dipole 2 for the signal of the turnstile antenna. The main feed line represents the cable connected by a radio transmitter or receiver of turnstile antenna. To summarize this lesson, turnstile antenna is very beautiful and very important invention by engineer George H. Brown because it changed the world of our people. It made us have fun so that we do not get bored with our world. And because of this, we receive information or news from FM and TV for the situation of the whole country. And moreover, not only FM and TV he used, but also in military communication and satellite communication. And it has two important modes of tonsil antenna, the normal mood and actual mood. In normal mood, it represents radiation with horizontal polarization. In action mode, it represents radiation with circular polarization. And this tonsil antenna has very important frequencies. Its frequency is 3 MHz to 3 GHz. And this tonsil antenna has two dipole antennas aligned 90 degrees. I hope that you understood this lesson. Thank you so much for watching this video.